Hey YouTube, safety here. So I'm working on my hot water tank and designing it to supplement hot water into my water tank. And I want to update you on my situation, my ideas, and my dilemma. So we're looking at right here the place where I wanted to clear and build my box. It's about a five foot long, six foot long, two and a half feet deep, and you know I've got three or four feet about three feet to go up before I hit this window here. Now this would be an ideal location because of the sun or direction as you can see from this shadow here it's um, about 11.30 morning sun has been here all morning this front stoop gets to about 75 even on a day where it's about 60 uh, just from the sun hitting the cement yet with that being said because of all the cement I'd have to plumb under or over somehow because my hot water tank is inside my garage here. The other option would be along this wall, which would put the tank directly on the wall of the hot of the garage, which houses the hot water heater. Yet this gap here is only about two feet. Um, I'm planning on growing an extreme amount of hops right here next season, and it kind of messes with all my plans. It really isn't even viable with the size box I'd have to build. In reality, a hot water tank inside my front yard really wouldn't work because of the fact that I live in a homeowners association and it's just a matter of time before they start complaining about the the tank and the fact that it may have been an eyesore. So my final plan was to utilize this unutilized window because it is about a foot taller than the tank is. There's nothing but junk on the other side and if I used half of this window I could actually construct a box behind it house the tank vertically and insulate around it and with the, the box reaching hopefully about 175 degrees inside I might be able to supplement some of that air on the side of the box to heat the garage which I utilize as a workspace which would be nice because I'd save on electricity there as well only dilemma that I face now in order to plumb this my tank will be vertical as you'll see in my drawing and I'm not quite sure if the hot water will have enough pressure to leave the top of the tank with the cold water coming in the bottom and make it about 20 feet 25 feet roughly to the hot water tank the two tanks will be parallel both about three feet off the ground with no variation in gravity or anything it's just will be a direct line around the perimeter of the, the ceiling enjoy the video and please please if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below stay safe YouTube